Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem, and here is the news. 640 days less the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Yesterday, the Ukrainians remembered victims of Holodomor of 1932-1933, an artificially created famine caused by the Soviet authorities, that killed millions of people in Ukraine. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky said on the day that Ukrainians remembered those millions of innocent victims. Quote, they tried to exterminate us, to subjugate us, to torture us. They failed. They wanted to conceal the truth from us and hush up the terrible crimes forever. They failed. They wanted to confuse us, to mislead us, to make us not believe, to doubt, to forget, and therefore to forgive. They failed. And today, with utmost sorrow and respect, we honor the memory of millions of our people, unquote, said Zelensky. The president thanked all those countries who recognized the Holodomor as the crime against humanity and the Ukrainian people. Ukraine hosted a summit, Grain from Ukraine, dedicated to the issue of food export from the country amid the Russian aggression, reports Ukrainska Pravda. Volodymyr Zelensky said that Russian President Vladimir Putin would subject Ukraine to another famine, akin to the Holodomor of 1932-33, if he could. The President believes that Russia will continue to use food shortages to weaponize hunger. He recalled that the Russian fleet blocked Ukrainian seaports on the very first day of Russia's full-scale invasion, effectively cutting off food exports from the country, which play a critical global role. Zelensky said that he is proud of all the Ukrainians who have managed to restore security in the Black Sea so that Ukrainian ports can operate again. The president said that Ukraine considers the establishment of a grain corridor without Russia to be one of the most significant achievements of this year and is also working to ensure the safety of the ships that use this corridor. He explained that Grain from Ukraine humanitarian initiative has brought nearly 40 countries and international organizations together to help the countries that are suffering the most from food shortages. These countries have already received 170,000 tons of food through the initiative. Zelensky also said that a ship bringing grain to Nigeria was about to set off from Ukraine, bringing relief to nearly 400,000 people. After the event, Volodymyr Zelensky informed that yesterday Ukraine managed to gather 100 million US dollars for purchasing Ukrainian grain for the countries that need it most. He expressed hope that this figure will double by the end of the year. The head of state added that Ukraine has arranged with its partners that it will be receiving warships to ensure the safety of ships in the grain corridor in the Black Sea. We would really appreciate if you could rate us, ideally with 5 stars, and leave a glowing review in the apps where you are listening to this podcast, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify, and others. This really helps more people to find out about the highlights from Ukraine and truth about Russia's invasion. Yesterday's Russian drone attack against Ukraine, and in particular Kyiv, was the largest. According to the Air Force of Ukraine, the Russians launched 75 Shaher Kamikaze drones, 74 of which were shot down. The main target of the attack was Kyiv. Local authorities informed that air raid warning was in effect for over six hours, reports Suspilne. In the result of the attack, five people were injured but didn't require hospitalization. 77 residential buildings and 120 institutions have been left without power. Yuri Ignat, spokesperson for the Ukrainian Air Force, said that the Russians are covering the Shaher Kamikaze drones with carbon and repainting them black to make it harder for Ukrainian air defense to shoot them down, reports NVUA. This night, Russian authorities informed about a mass attack by drones. A total of over 20 drones were recorded, reports Glavkom. The drones were downed in the suburbs of Moscow, where they damaged three buildings, and two local airports were forced to shut down for a while. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast. We are a commercial initiative of just two people, and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.